Thank you, Canada Jordan. Uh, next, we have Canada De La Fuente. Thank you. Uh, you know, the biggest responsibility of a mayor is to protect the citizens and protect property. Obviously, whatever programs we have are not working. Okay, obviously, the crime is, the, the, the rise in crime in Oakland is off the hook. Not Chinatown closes at 4 or 4.30 because businesses are afraid to stay open. So whatever we are doing is not working. What we gotta do is go back to our basic, go back to do policing, go back to make sure that we have enough police officers with the ability to do their job. We got, as leaders, we have to require the police officers to do their job and enforce the law. What's happening in Oakland is that we have allowed things to deteriorate to the point that people come to do things that they don't do anywhere else. So all the programs that we are obviously working with are not working. So what I will do, not only make sure that the staff of policing, uh, that we need to uh, add more police officers, but more than anything, the mayor has to create the tone that we're not going to allow people to come to Oakland and rob and assault and do without any consequence. We gotta enforce the law. That's the reason why the things that are happening are happening. So that's what we have to do. Go back the old fashioned way, the responsibility to protect people and protect citizens. Simple as that. All the different programs and everything else, I'm sorry. The macro, I, I have a problem with civilians that are not trained and they are not prepared to deal with these issues. And I believe there's gonna be some consequence to that. Thank Police you. is the one that has to do it. Thank you, candidate De La Fuente. Um, next we have candidate Scott. Good evening. Department of Violence Prevention has a very important job, preventing violence. Ask yourself, has it worked out for us? Because the violence is escalating. The desperation is escalating. When we live in an oppressive system and we can no longer compete economically, we begin to compete for moral superiority. And that's worse, and it's much dangerous. It starts with, at its least dangerous, the Department of Violent Prevention, which I believe is largely performative. It doesn't tap into the needs of a neighborhood. It talks to the neighbors, not with the neighbors, about what we need to be safe. Here's an example. Last week, we had the opportunity to further our use of license plate readers, which have been proven to stop crime. What did our city council progressive do? They said, we don't need license plate readers. Our city our police chief says, we do need them. He's the expert. The city council says, we don't need them. They're not the expert. They instruct and they appoint members to that Department of Violent Prevention who echo those same anti-law enforcement sentiments, which have gotten us to the situation that we are today. So we need to be very clear that we support public safety. No more talking in public this way and talking behind the scenes that way. No more um, supporting individuals who take back from public safety and don't do whatever we can to increase all the tools needed for public safety. So we need a revamp and we need to appoint the right people to this department. Thank you, candidate Scott. Um, before